Hello Zen B. Zen Tangle is a meditative art form that is a relaxing method of creating abstract art using structured patterns. It teaches and focuses on being mindful and present. Zen Tangle requires no artistic skills. Hello, I'm Sandhya Manne. I'm an artist and a certified Zen Tangle teacher. In this channel, we talk about creating and practicing Zen Tangle, my own Zen Tangle inspired artworks and collectibles. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you do not miss out on any videos that I will be posting every Tuesdays and Fridays. It's day uh, 28 of Zendala Joy. Zendalas are the best of Zentangle and Mandalas. Welcome to Zendala Joy, 31 days, 31 Zendalas. So today it's day 28 and we will be working with string number 9 for today's project. To get your instant free download of your Zendala string, all you have to do is sign up onto my newsletter. The link is in the description and you'll get an instant mail with a downloadable link. Um, so now on to today's project. Uh, I will be working on a round Zendala tile with my black pen, pencil and stuff. So go grab your supplies and let's get started. On to tangling now. Okay, so here we are, day 28 and we are working with string number 9. So I've traced it into my tile and here it is, my tile is ready. Now to get your instant free download of this um, string template that has 15 Zendala strings, all you have to do is sign up onto my newsletter. The link is in the description and you will get an instant free download of uh, the 15 strings right away. Okay, so here I have my tile um, all traced in with pencil uh, and I'm going to use my 01 micron black and I will also use a thicker pen so either a pn or a 08 pen should be fine and we will be working with uh, using a pencil and stub for shading and blending purpose. Now I am going to go ahead and ink my lines. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and ink this part, this part and this part. I'm not going to worry about the outer layer right, right now, but pretty much the rest of it is going to be inked. So let's go ahead and ink this. Okay, so take your time to do this. Don't be in a hurry. Okay, so I'm also going to go ahead and ink this so let's just do this okay so here i have inked uh, my center flower that whole section so now i'm going to pull out for the line in the center here so I'm going to connect this to the center and then this to the side so let's go ahead and do this on each of these sections so there we go okay so now I'm going to go further down so we are actually going to create uh, this tangle called genus. So that's that's where we are uh, getting with this. Okay. So I am going to pull another line. So this part, right? So we're going to do a line to that section. that
okay so now i have all of these connected so now here's what i'm going to do so do you see this this is one section and this is one section so uh, in this section i have right and left right so so this is my left and this is my right so you can pick whichever one i'm just going to pick my right so on the right of the right half i'm going to add tipples or perks now you can either fill this completely or uh, as a solid black but uh, i want to add tipples here or this could be perk so go ahead and fill these with black and okay so now i'm going to skip the one right next to it and again in this section i'm going to start working on the right side so going on like that so here it is all done now let's get on to our next section so which is these uh, little diamond shapes so here we are going to use uh, this tangle called lane uh, it's a beautiful tangle so we start off with a circle right here at this point and we make a petal like that it, this is actually a grid based tangle but we are of using the fragment here okay so we're going to fill uh, these petals that's going like this and then we're going to go ahead and fill black here Okay, so let's do this one more time. So I have my circle here, and I have my both my petals coming out like this, and I have my center petal, and one more. So two on each side is what we're looking at. Okay, and then I go back and fill in the center. ahead do this I'm going to repeat this one more time just for you to the center petal Okay, so I out. have it all traced, uh, inked, my pencil line and I have also sectioned it out here. So now here is the thing, we are going to repeat tangle line here in these two as well. So I am going to make this slightly bigger okay, and pull out my petal here and maybe one more here and here. Okay, so we are still maintaining the 5 petals okay. and yeah, right. So let's repeat this on um, all the sections, so I will start. So of course then we will go back and add black here.
so let's go ahead and repeat this all around you can actually use a thicker tip pen so it's easier to fill in So let me just show you one more time. So this is how it's going to look. It's the, like two layers of uh, lane. Um, so let me just quickly show you one more time. Let me just zoom in so you can see better. Okay. So here, we start off with a circle and make my petal. and then I go back and black So let's repeat this all around okay so here we have the second layer of lane now let's get on to this section so here we are going to use the fragment j2 which is a beautiful fragment um, and we're going to do a couple of additions in that as well so here's what uh, So here's what we're going to do. Uh, so this is our center point, right? So I'm going to go slightly lower and make a curve like this and then slightly above this, make a curve like this. So basically we want the center to be somewhere in the center. We want the center to be in the center. Okay, so then um, we are going to give an aura line like that and make curves like this so notice I'm making them elongated but you can make regular rounds if you want okay so something like this and in the center I'm going to make nice big circles so almost like pearls Okay, and of course I'm going to go back and fill these back black gaps with black. Okay, so this is done. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull out lines like this. So both on the top as well as bottom. So something like this. This is what we're going to do in each of these sections. So let me go ahead and do this one more time. Okay, so I'm going to start slightly lower than the center. Make my curved line and then I'm going to repeat this right on the top as well. And then we give an aura line and both sides and then I start off with curves um, slightly elongated I repeat that here as well okay so now in the center I am going to add nice big circles and then I start pulling out lines like this do this 
and can in the bottom okay so there you go now I'm just gonna go back and fill black There it is. I might add one more here. Yeah. So let's go ahead and finish this for the rest of the tile. Okay, so I have added J2 here all around. Now let's uh, get to this other section. So here's what we will be doing. We are going to pull this line out here like this. Okay, so make another triangle, another set of triangle, or sorry, another set of diamonds. Like this. So I'm going to repeat this all around. Okay, so I'm done doing this. Now I am going to repeat the same fragment here as well. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. We shall start somewhere here. Okay, and make our curved line and then slightly about this. Pull out an aura line. Pull out an honor line and then of course make our perks. Okay, both on the top as well as the bottom. Okay, so now I am going to add my circles here. Okay, and of course I'm going to go back and pull lines like this from the same point. Okay, let's do that. So I'm going back to add black in these gaps. Okay, so there you go. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat this uh, on the rest of the diamond shapes that we had there. Okay, so here it is all completed. Now let's get to this final section that we have here. Now for this section, I am planning to use a uh, fragment S1. Um, so we are kind of improvising it to uh, fit in this section. So let's see. I'm going to start from here, okay, and go out and kind of make it like a mukha, like that, okay. So my next one, I'm going to start from this side and the 
the circle part is going to be on this side so again I'm going to start here and the circle part is going to fit in yeah okay so now in this space I am going to add my circle okay and I'm going to go ahead and fill this space here this space with solid black so go ahead and add solid black so that gives a nice contrast So I'm just adding black. Like that. Okay, so let's repeat this. Now when I'm doing this on this section, I'm going to make sure that uh, this and this are facing each other. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start from this end here okay, and go about here to make my um, center the circle here and then come back like this so that these two kind of look as facing each other. Now here I'm going to start like this and go about. And so the next one is going to be in this direction. Like that. And then we are going to add circle here. And of course I'm going to fill all of this space black. Now, now here, because this one is facing this side, I'm going to make, make it starting from here. So okay. so so it's going to be like this. One is going to have these two facing up and the, the one right next to it is going to have these two facing down. right Now this one is going to have these two facing upwards. So it's going to alternate between uh, is going down and going up um, so let's go around and finish this let me just do one more so you can see so because that side it was going up I have made this as well going up okay so now here Because we're gonna go ahead and add circles and then go back to do all the filling so this is going to be up down up and then probably going down okay so let's go ahead and finish this okay so here it is all done now let's get to shading so before we head with shading i just want to invite you all to join my group zenbees where all the after party fun happens uh, it's a facebook group and um, just send me a request and uh, you will be in and that's where a lot of learning happens after the session you will find um, a participants and uh, our zenbees sharing their works and uh, it's it's beautifully done they add in um, different elements from this project and it's it's really fun to see all those beautiful creations so do join us there on Facebook now let's get to shading here okay so here's what I'm going to do first we're going to add our pencil right outside of 
of Janus. So we are just going to go around this. Okay, so let me just quickly show you how this is going to look once uh, once we blend this in. Okay, so and that's done. So that's that's how it's going to come out. Um, so let's go ahead and finish the rest of it as well. Okay, so let's just quickly blend this out. There you go. So now we're going to repeat the same thing here in the second layer of line. So I'm just adding my pencil again in this section. So this is going to look like a, it's going to give a nice layered effect. Okay, so let's just see how that's going to look. So that's that's gonna create another layer in there. It's gonna blend this out slightly more. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this all around. Okay, so let's get to our next step. So now let's get to this this area. So I'm gonna add my pencil right under this. Here and here. Now I'm going to blend this out like that. Okay. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. Go around. So let's do this on on rest of it. Okay, so we just did that here. Now, uh, now I'm gonna do the next shading right around this um, this diamond shape here. This this part. So I'm just adding my pencil right on the white space. I'm not really worried about the black. right here let's just blend this out mm, so. like that so that just pulls this out a bit and pushes this to the background which is what we want so creates a nice layer so let's go ahead and add our pencil right around this on the white areas okay so um, we are, we are done adding the grey 
all around this and I like the way it creates that uh, dimension so it creates that nice layers okay so now let's get to the center part so for genus I'm just gonna add pencil right here remember this right and left so on the right side just in the center part of this so I'm just gonna add my pencil right here right here and we are going to blend this I'm not going to pull it all the way down but just just about there just that so it's pretty much like half of the of the section here okay so let's see let's see this okay so we're going to go ahead and do this uh, all around okay so here it is all done so i have added my pencil right here on the work that we did um so it's all done i am happy with this now let's put our initials and call it complete so let's see where can i add my initials I'm just gonna add it right here on this that is just nice and big so there you go okay so now let's journal this mm, today is day 28 so 28 October 2020 and this is Zendala Joy string number string number 9 and day 28 so we started off with uh, Gen genus and then we did this triangle called La land and then we did fragment so our third triangle was fragment J2 and then we did fragment uh, S1 which is actually a variation um, but uh, not actually a variation we just tried to fit that into a triangular shape um, but that's, that's all we used and let's just put my full on signature here ok so there you go Da -da -da. Okay, so I, I wanted to show you our previous project using the same string and you will not believe how this looks. Okay, so this was our previous project, right? Um, same thing, this is string 9, yes. And here it is, a completely different finish. Um, I like both, I like this uh, being open and kind of have just these contrast and this is very different this has a lot of layers in it and it looks very interesting so there you go hope you had fun creating this project with me i would love to see your creations so head on to our facebook group zenbees where all the after party fun happens share your works there and check out the creations by other zenbees if you're sharing your works on social media then please do tag me at sandhya manne or hashtag tangle with sandhya so i get to see your lovely creations there a quick note, these projects and these videos are for your personal use and no part of these can be used for any kind of commercial purposes. To understand the Zentangle method and to get started on your own Zentangle journey, email me to get information about my group classes or to schedule your private sessions. Slots for the month of November are now open. Well, something is in the making. I know I've been teasing you about this, but I will be announcing soon about that. So watch out for this space. Now it's time to comment so please comment below and let me know how you enjoyed this project because that really helps me plan out my next set of videos. Also it's time to show some love so hit that like button, share the video and subscribe to the channel. If you really enjoyed working on this project with me then please do like the video and subscribe to the channel because that really helps me more than you know and that is all I ask from you. So I will see you tomorrow which is day 29 and we will be working with string number 12. 
um, so get your tile ready and i'll see you tomorrow until then remember to breathe and smile see ya namaste